Hey y'all, I am here with artistic style director and celebrity stylist, Johnny Wright. Hey y'all. What we're gonna focus on in this particular segment is shape of hair. I wanted to give you the perspective from a stylist who does this all the time. Johnny, take it away. This is a very good conversation to have. I always uh, stress the need of getting your ends trim, of getting the proper cut, the proper shape, particularly for women of color. You don't yes. like to uh, trim your ends as much as you're thinking because of your curl pattern, your hair is tighter, you're not getting the length that you want. It's really important to do such, and I am happy to have this conversation yeah. with you and all of your followers. Yay. It's nice to be here. I mean, y'all know guys. he takes care of Flotus. Yeah. Okay. Just you all don't know what that means. First Lady of the United States. And I'm holding this, by the way. Hold it. Yes, yes, yes. Hairstyles of the United States. Oh, wait. Woo! <laughs> Tell us when we go to the stylist and we want a haircut. What are some things that you need to tell your stylist? What do you What do you go in with? You gotta have some type of vision. It just help. I know a lot of stylists, you know, don't want they. You think that they don't want pictures, but. Pictures do help. I always tell people I simulate, never duplicate. It's yes. A, it's a different thing. I have a different stroke with a brush. So I, what I take from the picture is I, I tell people it's almost like art interpretation. I get what they're feeling from that particular cut. Right. You know, um, they always people always ask me, can you give anybody the Halle Berry haircut? I actually can because it's a certain feeling that they look at and they feel from that picture that they want to achieve. Okay, so that's a good way to look at it. When yeah. you're looking for styles that you like, it's the feeling that you that get you when you see it. the picture that you're probably more in love with than yeah. the physical style itself. Yeah, and, and a, lot yeah. Of, a, lot of, a lot of women can't articulate that, so that's why pictures are great, but mm -hmm. communication is key. Do you have to select a style or look at pictures based on your texture? Like if I see a picture of someone with a different texture than mine and I say, I love the style of this hair, but I know my hair isn't the same texture, is that okay? It's always good to every now and then consult with a professional, especially when it comes down to what exactly your texture is, you know, things like that. Okay. And if your this cut works with the texture. Now, okay. I'll give you an example. It was a, a coworker of mine the other day, and she went to her stylist and her stylist told her, you shouldn't get the haircut because it's just gonna be bushy because your hair is kind of curly. I disagree. Now, what I took from that was the stylist didn't know how to cut short hair. Don't tell a person that they can't have it due to their hair is gonna be bushy. It's a way to style it properly to get that cut, but texture does have a lot to do with it. So far, we've got, I'm trying to make a list for them. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you wanna find pictures of your desired style. Yeah. You also wanna pay attention to the texture of those pictures, if you're looking at a bunch of models who have a texture that isn't like yours, know that you might have some variance yeah. in the outcome of that. So you probably are better off looking for pictures of people who have textures similar yeah. to yours. Density, Density how much important. hair you Absolutely. have. Because um, I get tons of questions about my volume. I don't do anything to make my hair have a lot of volume. I just have a lot of hair physically. Yeah. I have a lot of follicles. Yeah. So. If you're looking at my hair and then you take my picture to your stylist and you have half the amount of hair I have, even if they were able to give it the same cut, it's still not gonna sit the same way exactly. on your head because of the weight and the volume. And I think a really lot important. of us want those big curly fro type shapes. Mm -hmm. And I think it's difficult a lot of times to walk into a stylist and for them to be able to give you that shape yeah. if you don't have enough hair to really fill it in all the way. Exactly. So that's where you get into situations where you have to have shorter pieces of hair. Yeah. Um, perfect example, if you all have ever looked at Mel Burgos, Rocio Rizos, mm -hmm. um, she recently cut all her hair off when you Yeah, know. she looks amazing. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. But when she had her curly hair, the reason it stood up the way it did is because her top hair was cut so short. Mm -hmm. Like it was maybe a few inches and all the length was in the sides and the back. So you got this simulated round shape that really wasn't an actual round shape. So it's yeah. all in the cut. Quite honestly, when Mel, when I cut her hair, what she came to me with was more of a triangular shape. Yeah. You know, so she was like, I want this more A-line situation, a little higher up top. So that really kind of creates 
a triangle. Now, because of the texture of our hair, it came out round because mm -hmm. the hair is really curly. Let's talk a little about a bit about trimming. You brought it up a little earlier. Yeah. There's this huge fear of, oh my God, I spent all this time growing my hair out. I don't want to get a trim. And I know that naturals tend to go longer periods of time yeah. without trimming. Because, because they camouflage it a little more, especially yeah. if they were in there curly. Which, you know, is fine, but you know, it yeah. results in more frizziness. Mm -hmm. um, so your hair reverts quicker in humidity. Those times that you do straighten your hair and you want to wear curls, the curls they don't fall. last. Um, every six to eight weeks, uh, I used to say every four to six weeks, but Every six to eight weeks, you should get some type of trim, even if it's just a smidgen. Just a and little dusting. Just a little, just a little dusting. dusting. And what, what you need to understand is, just say this is a strand of hair, right? And if you, if the, 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 the end of the hair is split, what it does is grows and breaks, grows and breaks. When it's solid, it continues to grow. You get the length retention. Yeah. If it's not splitting and cracking off, yes. as it grows out, you're it keeping it. So exactly. you can actually get that visible growth, but you shouldn't be afraid to trim. No. Because you need the trim. Yeah. But it doesn't have, trim doesn't mean cut two or three inches of hair. Right. Trim could be less than an eighth of an inch. A real like crop dusting, like and I real know, small. I know a lot of women use the term, my style is a scissor happy. I <laughs> Finding that right relationship with a stylist that mm -hmm. is not so scissor happy is important as well too. So do some research. Yeah, you know, and nowadays with social media, mm -hmm. stylists have Instagram pages, Facebook pages, look at their other work. I mean, you don't have to go in so blind to the situation, but you shouldn't avoid trimming your hair if you really need it. Because if you feel like, especially for those of you that are consistently doing twist outs week after week after week, your hair is going through the ringer far more than a person who's doing like a wash and go. Because you're constantly pulling and brushing and applying product and twisting and pinning. And, and then you're wondering why your hair is so tangled when you're, you're trying to comb it lots out. Lots of tangles. It's tangled because you have those split ends grabbing each other. They're really fine. Mm -hmm. They're all sparse. It's not going to be, it's, not, it's going to make it really tangled. Yeah. The, the more you keep your ends trimmed, the less tang you have. Yeah. Again, all that, you know, your, your style lasts longer. And I just think it's really important. It's just really good to keep your, it makes a good head of healthy hair. It does. You it know? does. And it'll look better. And I'm always a fan of shape over length. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd rather it look good than be to my behind. Yeah. Like, it just, I'm constantly cutting in my hair for that reason, which is why we're here today. Yeah. I'm getting a haircut from Johnny. <laughs> Y'all listen, I'm going to be running around town talking about blow this stylist cut my hair. Y'all ain't going to tell me nothing no more. So we are going to do a consultation. Yep. Like, let, I want to give you guys a real life example of okay. what a consultation looks yes. like. A lot of my followers have not been in the salon, some of them in years, yeah. ever since of all these resources are available on YouTube, people yeah. are not going to the salon as often. So if you are, let's say you're going to a stylist you have not been to, Johnny has never done my hair before. Yeah. So this that, will this, be new. That is authentic, right? That's yeah. True. And this is one thing you cannot DIY. Do not cut your own hair at home. Don't I have, do it. It has been so many tragic situations. Don't do it. A woman coming to my salon after they've tried to trim their ends or Ooh. reshape their bangs and say, oh, I can do it myself. Don't. Don't. Just save don't, us some coins. Don't, don't. Get to a salon, make yes. an appointment, yes. and get your hair trimmed. Yes. It's important. I'm looking at both cameras here, okay? It's important. Don't. You guys have seen videos of me trimming and stuff, but what do I always say? Go to a stylist, let someone help you. I mean, if you're just doing a little snip snip, I see some stuff over here, but try to give yourself a full fledged haircut, full fledged trim all over your head and you don't have any experience with cutting, it's a bad idea. And you might it's, see it's some bloggers idea. that talk about it and they, they, you know, they cut their hair themselves. A lot of times these bloggers have a little bit of a hairstylist in them. Most women do not. A lot of women- You have to know they, yourself. You, yeah, they you don't, don't need to, to use yourself. their own curl and iron that along some shears. So <laughs> these are shears to the professional. If you haven't figured out how to perfect your twist out, you probably don't need to be cutting right, hair. exactly. This is all with love, y'all. Yeah. Because we want the best for you. We're doing this for you. We want the best for you. So we're going to do this consultation thing to show yeah. you what an interaction should be like between you and your stylist. All right. All right, y'all ready? I got all this hair. Mm -hmm. It's really long. It's about to the middle of my back. Yeah. Um, I typically like lots of layers so that my hair will be round, mm -hmm. uh, but it has grown out significantly since the top of the year, last time I cut it. Mm -hmm. 
And so I'm gonna take it down. It is a hot mess. <laughs> it's full of all kinds of, you know, gel and whatnot yeah, got and a few ponytail holders. Jesus, okay. Mm -hmm. You do have a lot of hair. I do, I know. I just, I know. So it's kind of stretched out of shape now because it's been in this ponytail. Okay. I want lots of shape. I also okay. want to have layers that will still allow me to get it in a ponytail. Okay. Still That's be able good to, to know. Up. That's good to know. Your right. stylist needs to know your lifestyle. I typically wear my hair in a wash and go, and then midweek it's gonna get in a bun. I'm gonna pin it up. I'm not gonna wear it down every single day. Okay. It's gonna get washed once a week. Got it. Um, I steam my hair with conditioner. This is great. To help the curls stay. come through, yeah. keep the moisture. I'm not re-wetting my hair. Mm -hmm. So once it's set, I need it to stay. And that's probably why she's able to go a little longer without getting the instrument. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend that. But I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I haven't had a trim since July. Okay. So it's been not too long, not too but long, long yeah, enough. Yeah. I typically do it maybe three or four times a year. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I'm definitely interested in more of a cut. Yeah. That's a good distinction to make. Yeah, it is. Do you want a trim or do you want a cut? Yeah. Some stylists charge the same for shears, I mean for, for, for cuts as they do for trims. Yeah. I do. If I pick up my shears, it's the same price. That's mm -hmm. just how I work. You don't want to get to a point where you're like so cheap about it that you don't get what you want. Yeah. Because if you have the mindset that, well, that's too much money to spend and you know that there's a certain stylist that you really want to see because they do great work and you're avoiding it over the price, you're you're setting yourself up to be disappointed yep. by finding a less than solution. So what was great about what you started off with with your conversation is that you gave me a lot of information mm -hmm. about yourself, which is important. So mm -hmm. I know now that you still like to be able to put in the ponytail. Right. I do know you want a distinct and defined shape, mm -hmm. right? That's different from what you have now. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you want to be able to snatch her back mm -hmm. when you don't feel like doing nothing. I different. still want as much length as possible. You want as much but as I need the length. I need that shape in the top because my hair is heavy. And once I set it, it will fall yeah. if it's in this hair in the top. Is so long now yeah. that it no longer stays up without tons of picking and teasing, which I don't want to do because that's damaging to the hair. Exactly. You don't want to keep fluffing and forcing and teasing and all of that stuff because then you end up tearing your hair up. What I am excited about is that you know what you want and I know where I'm going to go with this. I have the vision. See, we're here. We're here. We're here. We got this. We got and it. I am going to cut our hair wet. Monica has the hair for that. I can cut our hair wet. She has a lot of it, but where our hair is wet, I can pull it straight and I can get the shape that I want. It's like some stylists are perfectly comfortable with cutting your hair curly. Yeah. Others are gonna wanna straighten it. Some wanna do it wet, some wanna do it dry. You need to ask yeah. how they prefer to cut. And if you don't like it, keep searching for another stylist. It's not, the, the stylist isn't wrong, it's just, they're gonna tell you the way they can do it best to get you the result you want. If you mess around, and force them to do it in a way that they're not comfortable, that's when you start getting stuff you don't want. Yeah. So for me, I like a wet haircut. I like my hair cut wet. Johnny can cut wet hair. Yeah. That's a match. That's a match. If Johnny yeah. said, nah, I don't really want to cut wet hair, then it'd be up to me to say, do I want to still go through with this or should I find someone who can do it the way I want it done? Right. It is important for me to ask, how do you like to wear your hair? Rocky Riso's always wore hair curly. So typically I cut a hair curly because it made more sense that way. Yeah. And then also, if you are with a stylist that prefers straight cutting, you want to make sure that they are going to protect your hair so you don't end up with heat damage. And you guys can feel free to leave questions in the comments below. I don't really need to tell y'all that because y'all going to do it anyway. <laughs> and um, let's get my hair cut. <laughs>what was important with Monica's cut is that I made sure I kept the length around the base. So as you can see, I started off by taking a section of hair at the top, a rectangular shape right at the crown of her head. I pulled it straight up at a 90 degree level and I cut it at my desired length. In order to keep the length at the bottom, I did a half inch size sectioning, vertical sections on the side, pulled that straight up to the 90 degree desired length at the top and I cut to blend which left the bottom of the hair longer than the top. And then after that, I went in and did a little texturing and blending throughout the middle, but keeping the length at the base, and that's how you got this shape.
So. 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 <laughs> I'm so happy. It looks good. I love. I can already tell once I set it. It is going to be perfect. So big. You got your height up here. You got your length at the bottom, and that's that you, was important. That was me, important. So I can still get you it. You can still up. put it all up in the bun. All of it sits in the ponytail, either in the lower back of your neck, uh, underneath the uh, tip of the bone, or at the crown. Wait, Wait do all. did you come in with the bone? Yes, yes, I did. I am a professional. Come through, come through. Okay, come through. Come through. Come through. Yeah. Come through. Yeah. So yeah, I am going to finish up my look. I'm going to do some steaming and my normal wash and go setting, and all you know, all that great stuff. And I will share some final looks. Pictures, but thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Mel. Ah. <laughs>